This evening is the COFA Annual Fourth Year Design Students Graduate Exhibition. My name is Karina Clark, I'm a senior lecturer at the School of Design Studies. This is what we're going to be buying in the future. These are this is the future of design. This work is by Holly Phillip. Holly had as her client the Men's Shed. It's a community-based organisation and it allows retired men to come together and make their own projects but also get engaged in the local community and make things for that local community. And what she found by investigating what they needed was that every particular men's shed had their own logo and their own sort of collateral. So she pulled um, the whole project together and created this sort of national identity for them and created this fantastic book which will be published by the uh, men's shed organisation. It's a beautiful project in terms of community values and spirit. This project here was uh, designed and developed by Rhys Tucker. Rhys worked in a conceptual way with the notion of sustainability, life cycle and that, no that phrase cradle to cradle. His project title was called Cot to Coffin. So this notion of taking one piece of furniture that remains with you throughout your life and indeed is you take with you back into your burial or death. He used the Fibonacci series as a, as a sort of a way in which this object could be designed. No nails or screws, everything is sort of um, jointed together in, in very similar to traditional Japanese carpentry and, and woodwork. So you have it in the, the cot phase, it then makes itself into a bed that you sleep in and then works as a, as a coffin. This is a very poetic response to design in terms of not just an object that we have and then we, we discard it because we've outgrown it, we turn it into something else. So it's, its value remains intact and we continue with our relationship with the object. finish with Elliot Bryce Fuchs in his work which is called Speech Patterns. Now this takes um, a very conceptual theory of our voice and tries to make textile designs from our voice and, and the tone and pitch in our voice. So he developed a computer program that um, could graphically represent uh, the tone or a speech pattern. So all of these textiles, um, they are about working with the voice and my voice would be different to your voice so the pattern that my voice would create would be very different in tone and picture and so forth. So all of these textiles designs come from a voice pattern. And the application in terms of domestic wear, uh, homewares, fashion, furniture, it's really um, only the beginning, but a very bright future for, for Elliot. This generation of designers and this particular group, they're out there doing it. They're not waiting for somebody to give them a job. They're actually finding opportunities and creating. So they're great self-initiators and self-starters. Say no.